Office Franks. Employees at one Modesto building have turned a six inch hole into a work of art. Linda Moom is live from Modesto finding out more. Now we're saying Franks because they do like some hot dog. Okay, art. so this has got to be one of the most hilarious Instagram accounts I've run into in a long time. And it started here in Modesto. In fact, it started here in this office in Modesto um, inside City Hall, but we're not going to reveal what specific office. I don't think. <laughs> but I want to get to the story here really quick because how this all came about is really funny. So if you take a look at these pictures, so this account, it all started with an irritating hole in the carpet. And so an undisclosed employee covered it with a patch of grass and then came up with a storyline. So then it evolved into a scene with some felt characters like this one here that you can see mowing the lawn. And then came the hot dogs or what I like to call the office Franks. They also celebrate when it's Friday. They inform employees when the area is under construction, like this photo here. And they even play games like The Price is Right. They also celebrate the seasons and holidays like Thanksgiving as well. You can check out all of these photos on the Wonky Felt Instagram account. But before you do so, I want to meet the person that started this all because... They have not been revealed until now. So I'm going to ask you one more time before Sean pans over to the left. Are you sure you want to be revealed? Because your coworkers don't know who you are. Yes, it's okay. Okay, so we're going to meet Sarah Lytle Penny. Okay, so you came up with these cute little characters. In fact, let's start with this one right here because you made one especially for oh. us this morning. Good day. So this is actually a preview of what's going to be up tomorrow for the employees here. But this is a little good day scene for you, just celebrating and welcoming you here. <laughs> these are hilarious. Okay, so, I mean, they're pretty tiny. How, how big are these little characters, would you say? So the hole itself is only six inches wide, six inches deep. So the characters range from about three to four inches high. Um, anything that will actually fit on the square. Okay, and there's the hole down there. Yes. So that's where these little daily art installations are put. So how do you sneak these in every day? So before work, I try to do a setup, and the setup only takes about 30 seconds or so. I rush in, <laughs> set it all up, post it, and then get to work. Some of these scenes are just incredible. I mean, look at this car. That thing is made out of felt. You must spend a lot of time making these. I mean, how much time do you spend? So it's an embarrassing amount of time. Um, it's, <laughs> it's all done outside of work, of course. Um, it's usually in the evenings, you know, during the time when you'd normally be watching Netflix. <laughs> So at least a couple hours a night that I'm working on it, sewing something for the next day. Okay, do you have a favorite scene? I mean, check this out. The, here's the cones from the, the construction oh, yes. zone. There's even a little porta potty back there. Of course, there's the Modesto Arch. You've even got a little art scene here with one of the hot dogs. So I love the DeLorean. That was a fun week with Back to the Future. We did um, all the different uh, iterations of Back to the Future. And then also the Western scene, that I loved working so on that. That had um, a whole week's worth of use and also got a little bit of double use for Back to the Future as well. I mean, that tiny little cactus. Oh, That's yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, and his face, which I don't know if you could see. He's actually <laughs> screaming a little bit there. He's the on expression. a runaway minecart. <laughs> so you celebrate the holidays. you got a lot of games going on back here as well. Yes. So I'm a big fan of Price is Right, especially the classic ah. Price is Right. I love Plinko love the colors that they use for it because it does pretty much look like the whole game is made out of felt. So that was an easy one. Uh, Cliffhangers is a great game too, so I had to make that. It was a fun week. I've got to ask you too because your office is not that far away. So, it, you know, your coworkers didn't know that you have been behind this until now. So you get to actually see their reactions when they walk by. What have the re oh, reactions yeah. been like? Oh, they love it. I mean, it's, it's kind of like the daily comic in the office. So <laughs> When they come in and they see something different, um, they, I can hear them commenting from my office, of course. Um, <laughs> but it is like the daily motivator and sort of the daily joke of the office. What, what's gonna, what's, what's gonna be next? Yeah. <laughs> what are we walking into? Are you gonna be upset when this hole is finally fixed? You know, it will be sad, and um, I've overheard people talking about it in the office too. That they're really not looking forward to the carpet getting replaced. <laughs> um, but in all likelihood, this will probably live on in some other form. Fantastic. Okay, so if you guys want to check it out for yourself, now you can go to Instagram. It is Wonky Felt, and that is where you can follow the saga. The saga continues. Okay, now Linda, I know we're not revealing like... where she works, but does she have a job that is like creative, like what she's doing? Because she is really talented. You, that's a really good question. Okay, so we're inside, you know, the city county office. We're not revealing what office. Camby was asking, though, do you have a creative job that may contribute to some of this? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and maybe that's why this is here as an outlet. <laughs> that's why you spend so much time at home making these. Right, right. <laughs> There's your answer, Candy. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, I'm we really enjoy her. this. Yes, this is great. So uh, it's on Instagram at wonky. Helped. Also, one of those hot dogs was Cody because I saw the bow tie. Yeah. Who do you think the other hot dog was?